Hi, Sally Walker here, your hormone and slow age expert. So what are the risk factors for poor metabolic health or developing metabolic syndrome? Well, the first one is age. Age obviously is going to decrease your metabolic function. That's part of the aging, uh, but that doesn't need to mean to be uh, that it's going to be aggressive, but we will, as we age, have a lower metabolic rate, a lower metabolic function. And then there's genetics. So there will be some things there, family history of metabolic syndrome and other, other disease states, which might increase the, uh, uh, the speed of you developing your metabolic dysfunction. So ethnics are here as well. So, so things like, or ladies, especially Hispanic ladies, seem to be at greater risk for some reason. So that will be also genetics, would not it, really? Yeah. So lack of exercise is a biggie. So this is something that you can change because you can't change <laughs> your genetics. You can't change your age and you can't change uh, your um, ethnicity, can you? Mm. But you can do something about the exercise. So exercise will increase muscle mass and muscle mass is going to increase insulin sensitivity and this is also going to have a big effect on on uh, your blood sugar it's going to affect on your triglycerides your fat in blood cell. it's going to affect a lot of things which are going to improve your metabolic health so obesity or being overweight uh, carrying too much weight especially around your middle is going to increase your risk for developing metabolic syndrome or having poor metabolic health as will diabetes uh, increase the risk so if you are one of these ladies that had gestational diabetes so diabetes during pregnancy or you have a family history of type 2 diabetes you will be at a more increased risk of developing yourself but it's not saying that you're going to, but you have a greater risk. So you're going to have to be more uh, looking at your diet, your lifestyle, your exercise, etc., etc. It's going to be more demanding for you than somebody else who didn't have gestational diabetes or doesn't have type 2 diabetes in the family. Mm -hmm. And then other disease states will, which will increase your risk. So if you're one of these young ladies that has problems with polycystic ovaries, uh, polycystic ovary syndrome, um, then there's going to be more insulin possibly involved here. And that may increase your risk for metabolic syndrome later in life. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, which is often uh, connected with excess weight. Uh, chronic kidney disease is another one and sleep apnea is actually also on the list here possibly to do with the fact that you don't sleep well and there might be more cortisol more cortisol more blood sugar more blood sugar more insulin those kind of things are all going to be interconnected so so there are some definite risk factors but some of them you can't do much about your age your sex this kind of thing but your lifestyle you can do so much to change your lifestyle, your diet, your exercise, and these things will have a very dramatic positive effect on your metabolic health. Happy hormones, happy life.